George Denzer here from the W Scoop 2014. Just a short blog. It's starting in one hour, a little more than one hour. We got uh, No Limit Hold'em tournaments the first Sunday, the big tournaments. Uh, a little run good would be nice in those ones, but I'm going for the mixed games mostly. I'm going to play all the events probably, but uh, I have high hopes in the mixed games to to get me some leaderboard points so I can uh, achieve the goal I set for myself this year. Top 5. Let's see if, if I uh, got the chance. And um, Let's do some strategy today. We got the progressive knockout uh, tournament, so maybe you were wondering how would you calculate if an all-in call is correct if there is a bounty on the opponent because it changes it's not only chip EV like you would look up an IC miser or some program and you just check for chip EV is it correct to call a push if he's pushing 30% of, of his hands and I, I know which hand I have um, no with bounties it's a little dif different but it's not so much different we just have a, a real money value by calling the all-in we just take the percentage that we have against his range so let's say we are thinking about calling a repush with king queen and we know it's going to probably have around 40 percent against the range of the opponent so we are winning 40 percent of his knockout bounty be careful not to uh, get the amount wrong because the amount that is listed on the table is not the bounty that you're going to get but that's the total sum so this is going to be divided so be careful to get the real progressive uh, bounty amount that you are going to get yeah and then multiplicate that with the percentage you got so we have 40 percent of let's say the amount is thousand that we would get if we knock him out so we get 400 is the value of the of the call and now we have to calculate how much our stack is worth and that at the beginning of the tournament if we double up our stack is worth twice the buy-in not not really but you know just shotgun it it's around twice the value but if later in the tournament and we are in the money and there is uh, price price money paid out then we have to do it differently we divide our stack by all the chips that are in play and multiplicate that with the rest of the prize pool that had not yet been paid out and now we know how much our stack is worth so if we have 40 60 against an opponent we're going to lose 20 percent of our stack with uh, with this all in against his range so 20 percent of the stack and now we know our real money value so now we can add it up and see if we win more by having the chance 40 percent to take the bounty or if the decrease in stack weighs more so just compare the two amounts and if the the bounty amount you're winning with that percentage is higher gamble it in so we got a little strategy in here just some math and uh, i think i'm just uh, going to wish you good luck Hope I see you at the tables and uh, see you with the next vlog, hopefully from some mixed games where I have some, some real insight and not just uh, uh, a little bit of, of math strategy for you guys. So, see ya.